What's up, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today, I just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just bored. I came back from a Orthodox... It's a Greek Orthodox festival. My boot is off! <laughs> oh, shit! And... Man, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm actually done. I had like barely got any sleep. I was mostly living on, on frappe and just like, just coffee and shit, bro. And I've got some new stuff. I got this icon, this icon of Mary, um, the Theotokos and Jesus, baby Jesus. Got my other icon here. So we got the, the icon corner, you know, starting up. And, um, it's kind of like a room tour, like I've never really done a room tour or anything. Um, that's my nail right there, I'm missing my part of my toenail. Yep, I had that from soccer. <laughs> I'm trying to sell this Oculus um, VR headset, so please, if you want to buy from me, please. No one's buying it off me from Facebook. Uh, I've got a nice church calendar, and um, it's quite beautiful, quite beautiful. Got a half Arabic as well, because I don't know. <laughs> But you know, we get to see, we get to be updated. We get to be updated. But one of the great things, okay, if you're trying to go to an event, for example, there's so many times where I want to go to an event, but you know, your mates, like, you're like, oh, come on, boys, like, get on it, get on it. But they just don't want to come because they're just bananas. But look, I've gone to two different events. Like, these were church events, like, that I, where I don't know almost anyone. The first event I went to, it's like a spiritual retreat. It wasn't bad. Like, it was actually, it was pretty good. And... I knew like, like, yeah, I knew a couple people, but honestly, like 99% of people there I didn't know I had a blast. Like my cabin was filled with people I've never even met before. Now they're like my good mates. They're actually my, like my G's, my bros. So it was good. And now <laughs> I just came back from another like event. This one was a little bit more like Greek though. This is like a lo lot more like cultural, not like, um, what would you call it? Like religious. It wasn't religious. Like it wasn't as much of a religious camp, but it's good. It was good. I just came back and I uh, woke up at 12. So I just need to sort my life out <laughs> right now. But um, it's good. And again, like you, it depends on what kind of person you are though. Because I can imagine if I did this kind of stuff, like when I was younger, it would not have worked out how, like you got to just be social. I can't even lie. You just kind of don't want to be socially inept. And um, wait, is it? Yeah. Okay. just want to make sure the camera was like the lens was good. But what I realized is that there's so many, like so many socially inept people nowadays. And like, it feels kind of mean to be like, to say that, but it's just the truth. It's genuinely just the truth. And I don't know, bro. Just talk to people. Like you just got to like actually practice. There's no like secret. Um, and for people, it's, it's always a little bit something different. Like why, like what, something that they do that makes them weird. And it might be, you know, you could like talk about it, but there's so much stuff, but yeah. Um, as well, like, I don't know, I don't know what I want to talk about, I kind of just want to chat shit, just walking around my room, <laughs> I don't know, should I make more videos like this, just shine shit, but, um, yeah, I'm not too, not too sure, like, another thing, like, I guess if you're, like, let's be real, like, I notice, like, every person is always trying to get, like, a girl, trying to get into a relationship or something, but... Honestly, it all comes down to social skills as well. Like a lot of people, like, I just realized this, that I'm actually, like a lot of people just don't even know how to talk to a girl and stuff. And, you know, you could like watch those videos, like how to talk to a girl, it's, it's gonna help you like very little. The, like you could watch like a thousand of those videos and you still won't know how to talk to a girl because it's all like, it all comes down to experience at the end of the day. And um, just practicing, like not just talking to girls, but um, experience, when it comes to like talking to different people, but okay, we'll do something like this. Uh, talking to different people is probably more beneficial than any type of like, oh, you know, I've watched like how to play 10 different texts. Like you realize, yo, my bad, I accidentally turned off my phone. But you realize that that kind of content is just retarded. Like to put it simply, it's just retarded. And it's just like, it's not gonna lead to anything like fruitful, <laughs> really. It's not gonna. Um, Overall, yeah, go outside, go talk to people, and read the book How to Win Friends and Influence People. That 
it helps you out. It like it's a pretty good start if you're like kind of like socially inept. Because I used to be socially inept, but like and the thing is like a lot of people don't realize they are because they have friends. Like you can be socially inept and have like friends and stuff, but because you can be social and normal with your friends, but when it comes to like new people and strangers, which overall, if you think about it, if you're trying to make new friends and trying to meet people or like trying to like get girls or whatever, then you're going to have to talk to, like, it's all about strangers and your first impression on strangers. So if you're acting weird, the first impression matters a lot. It matters a lot. So if you're acting weird and they're like, you're a bit, how you going? <laughs> then it's, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, um... Let me know. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. By the way, I'm sure this because, bro, it's like 20, 29 degrees. It's hot. And I can't lie, this is my NPC. This is like my default, like, this is my default outfit. Just like shorts. I'm not even wearing underwear, bro. Like, it's just more comfy like this. Just shorts and that's it. Just commando. Um, yeah, I'm on the bulk right now. It's, it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. I'm like 87 kilos or so. And... I'm gonna, so Great Lent is coming up. Actually, let's check it out. Let's check it out when Great Lent is coming up. So, we're in Jan right now. We're actually about to go into Feb. And I think it's in March. Yeah, you can see, let me just, okay. So you can see that Great Lent starts uh, March 18th. And it's 40 days of fasting. And um, I'm gonna get baptized. I'm gonna get baptized in, so April, it's all just fasting. Literally like, no meat, no dairy, no, like almost anything. And then on this day, Saturday, May 4th, I'm going to get baptized. So into the Orthodox faith, the true faith. So something exciting, something to look forward to, but that's going to be my cut. That's going to be my cut because I'm like, you, you should be doing that fast every year. Ideally as Orthodox, you should be doing it every year. This is the first time I'm going to experience, um, Pascha. No, I accidentally, okay, whatever. I accidentally dropped the nail. Um, this is going to be my first time experiencing Pascha. And, um, it, it, like, Orthodox Pascha, like, Orthodox Easter. And that way it's, like, a proper preparation. Like, I could just not. I could still get baptized. But it loses a bit of the, the specialty to it, in my opinion. It loses a bit, a bit of it. And that's the traditional day. That's the traditional day. And, Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But that's going to be my cut. So besides getting baptized, I hope by the end of it, I'll have apps. Because <laughs> I've never had like, the most I've had is like a four pack, but four packs kind of ass to be honest. But um, yeah, I hope, I hope I have my six pack apps. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to be skinny. I feel like I'm going to be scared because it's, it's intense fast. It's 40 days of fasting. Uh, some days you're not eating anything. I think the last three days, I'm not going to eat anything either. Um, I will drink. I will drink water. And... I'm trying to think what else. Like, there's, yeah, no meat, no dairy. It's literally just vegetables. No oil. No eggs. No, like, nothing. Like, no animal products. So it's vegan. It's like, it's like actually cool vegan, though. Because, like, if you're being vegan just for the sake of being vegan, then it's a bit cringe. But you're doing it for religious reasons, and it's a bit based. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out. And, um, yeah, make sure... You stay prayed up. See you guys later. Peace.